Okay, so hey guys, it's Quinston, and today we're gonna look at well, how to calculate the most basic stuff. That is, how to calculate the number of leaf nodes, the number of one-child nodes, the number of two-children nodes, because you know, it's fun and interesting and whatnot. So uh, the way we do this is basically by a recursive technique in which we you know pass in the node and then we check if both the roots, both the you know, right and left. Uh, pointers of the node are null or not null or any of those combinations so let's start with it and then we after that checking we're gonna pass them again into the whole loop and then you know go on and go on so um, let's just do that so basically what I've done is I've declared three integer variables that is in number of leaf nodes one number of one child nodes a number of two child nodes and then I've made a constructor in which I actually initialize them to zero. I mean, I don't need to make a constructor to initialize them to zero, but I thought it was conventional, so I did it. So how do I literally do the conversion techniques? So what I do is I do public int, I make a function, obviously, and I'm gonna use the same name as that of my you know, variables because that's fun. And I pass in a node, and I'm gonna name it temp because it's gonna be recursive. And I'm gonna pass in the node in the uh, pa parameter list and I'm gonna return zero initially return zero okay and initially but then I'm never gonna reach it obviously if um, temp is not equal to null what happens is that if temp is not equal to null I literally do not even check anything and I just return zero so if it is not equal to null, so first I'm going to pass in the root. So if root is not equal to null, it's going to return zero immediately. It's not, not, not going to even check what the next thing is. <coughs> okay? So that's how it's going to be. So after this, what I do is I actually check for the leaf nodes, right? So what is the peculiar, peculiar uh, property of the leaf node? The peculiar property is that both the right and left pointers are null for the leaf node. So if uh, temp.right is equal to equal to null, and at the same time temp dot left is equal to equal to null then what you're gonna do is you're gonna increment this value right here okay because that's the amount that's gonna check for the leaf node right and if that is not satisfied we are eventually going to pass a number of leaf nodes and in here we're gonna pass temp dot right and at the same time uh temp dot left now why did I do this Be why did, did I do this because I'm using recursive techniques so this is going to recursively call the right of the temp node and the left of the temp node which are also basically nodes and they're going to go and check if those are null so th this will happen until it reaches the end of the end of the tree and it's pretty awesome because you know it can map about two to n possibilities in n steps yeah or n minus one steps I, I don't know it's math um, but that many steps. So if this happens, if this completely executes and we literally get the values of leaf nodes, then we can go down over here, over here, and be like, return, R E T U R N, return what number of leaf nodes? That is this, because then we know that how many leaf nodes are there. But if it doesn't happen, then we're gonna return zero. So that's how it is. So this is how we calculate the leaf nodes. Re remember, we use the t we use the property of the leaf node that both the right and left of the leaf node are equal to null okay so then we have the next one which is um, the number of one child nodes now this is a bit this is easy too I mean it's not hard well, obviously nothing is hard everything is easy you just have to see what's easy and what's hard control C and control V and everything where there is that particular value just control V so but there is a difference in this so if right is not equal to null and yeah, I, I'm, make, I'm making it seem really easy, aren't I? <laughs> I mean, uh, because I'm just doing this. Anyway, if temp.right is not equal to null and temp.left is equal to null, which means one of it is a, is a child and the other is a null. Similarly, if temp.right is equal to null and temp.left is not equal to null, which again means that one of the child is present and the other is not present, I mean, it's null. So basically, it has a one child node. Okay, it has only one child, that node particular node so in that case we increment the number of one child nodes and well that's about it <laughs> it's that easy so next we're going to do the same thing copy and paste and be like hey this is done so easy and then we're going to do number of two child nodes so in the number of two child nodes we be like 
um, the same thing but just a bit of difference and uh, it's not that easy I mean it's not that hard it's obviously easy and then we delete this and be like if this is not equal to null and at the same time this is not equal to null which means that both the chi both the children are present basically and not none of them equal to null so you do plus plus and then you pass in the values which are next to it like the right and left and then you return it when it's done that's about it isn't it easy it is actually very easy so that, let us run it and find out and it's done see number of a uh, leaf nodes one amount of um, nodes with two children one that is the root obviously and the amount of nodes which are this is the binary tree I even deleted a few things so yeah that's about it uh, how did this happen in the main function I, I returned I did this system dot out dot print ln the amount of leaf nodes are okay b dot number of leaf nodes and in here I, I pass the root because you always start from the root because the ro root is the only uh, you know the node you have which which you have from where you can start right so system dot out dot print ln the amount of nodes with two children are and the amount of nodes with one child are so yeah that's about it oh wait I did it opposite yeah now it's fine so well that's about it so thanks for watching i hope you come back later and see other videos i make um so if you like this subscribe share and like again <laughs> and uh yeah that's about it thanks for watching later guys